Hello there, thanks a lot for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard. <laughs> Man, what an amazing, stunning promotional display for the debut album by British rock supergroup Cream. Featuring, of course, as you know in that photo, left or right, drummer Ginger Baker, bass player Jack Bruce, and guitarist extraordinaire Eric Clapton. Now this is an American promo piece for their very first album from their stateside label, Atco Records, so that places this piece squarely in January of 1967 or shortly thereafter, although the album didn't enter Billboard, uh, their album charts, until May of 67. So, you know, boy, I'll tell you, it's just this, this jaw-dropping feature on here is just amazing, absolutely unprecedented and anything I've ever seen. I've been you know, collecting music for over 45 years or whatever in my decades of collecting this crazy, beautiful, psychedelic, three-dimensional, captivating lenticular element to this thing. You've got those four stripes of red and blue dots on here and they're just awesomely eye-catching and attention-grabbing, right? They're just amazing. And uh, these lenticulars, by the way, sometimes were called winkies. They were all the rage back in the 1960s. Remember, we'd have buttons and things, whether it be, you know, the Beatles or your favorite baseball team, they were around. And I don't know why they fell out of fashion. The 3D effect is still just wickedly effective. When would you never like that? But, you know, if you, when you see this thing in person, you can't see it on the video, but the red dots are way out in front of the blue dots. It is just nutso, I'm telling you. So, boy, this was a... Um, Thick cardboard easel back stand up or standee, if you will, and here it's been just beyond gorgeously framed. And I can say that because I didn't do it. <laughs> but um, on the back there, you'll have to take my word for it. It's got a completely unused, unpopped, you know, easel that's just flush to the cardboard and never been opened. So it's just in beautiful, gorgeous mint condition. Of course, the um, you know the record store people could have just leaned it up against something on the counter and never had to open the back. That's always a possibility. It measures about 22 inches tall by 12 inches wide, by the way. Now, the Atlantic Atco group of labels, you know, made a few of these this size cardboard stand-ups in the late 1960s. There's one for Crosby, Stills & Nash's first album, Blind Faith's only album, and Led Zeppelin II. All cardboard and all stand-ups. So uh, what the designers at Atlantic Echo did with this particular piece on this occasion was they took a mono album slick, you can tell that from the lower left hand corner, and if you really know your record collecting, slicks were only printed once with, um, you know, perhaps stereo at the top and mono at the bottom and then just, you know, attached accordingly to the um, plain cardboard sleeve. So, um, you know, that's what in this case, of course, they didn't want both mono and stereo to show, so they chose to have the mono showing. And then you've got the boys there in their aviator uniforms. And, uh, you know, this album had been released one month earlier in the United Kingdom, um, December of 1966, with different lettering for the design in the upper right part of the album slick where it does say fresh cream. So it's kind of neat the way, in fact, the words fresh cream do appear twice on this display because it's also up there at the very top, as you can see, in the other upper left-hand corner. Then you've got that big red, white, and blue Target logo for ATCO. Um, really cool record label in the late 60s, right? You've got Buffalo Springfield, Vanilla Fudge, Sonny and Cher on ATCO, and how about one-off singles from both The Who with Substitute and The Beatles with Ain't She Sweet, all on ATCO Records. And then great wording on there, as you can see, it's happening on ATCO, back when happening, of course, was a hip new term, <laughs> like groovy. And then those four lenticular strips, wow, two of each color. And then finally the framing on this thing, again, not by me, done by a frame, a, a frame of mine, a <laughs> frame of mind, a friend of mine. And look at that, it's just so cool the way you've got those Atco-like targets in each corner. Just really just makes it look just amazing. But um, boy, I'll tell you, I love it when a, when a lot of thought and time and, and everything goes into framing a piece like this. Boy, I'll tell you, Cream in early 1967, a short-lived but incredibly influential career. So, just a great promo item to show you. And uh, boy, if you know if you know of any other late 60s cardboard stand-ups like this, especially from this you know label group, please send me a picture. I'd like to know about all of them that exist. So, 
Great peace and great fun. Thanks a lot for dropping by, and we'll see you again for something soon. Bye-bye.